Mm-hmm. So for the other question, mm-hmm. you have p squared is equal to a p squared minus b squared over p. So how are we going to linearize this? As I have said, this is not a condition where you are going to use log again. When you use log again for this, you will not get the answer because I know see some people who are doing log say log q squared equal to log a p squared and then we say minus log a p squared then minus log p. Please, this is wrong. As I have said, you can't use logarithm, you can't split logarithm between addition or subtraction. The logarithm of a difference is not the same thing as the difference of logarithms. I've said this in uh, one of the previous videos that I made on errors. So you can't do that. So the only thing you can do is to make sure that it looks like y equal to mx plus c. And using the same logic that we used to do the previous one, we said you must have a constant standing alone you must have only constant if you have constant and variable then you have only variable so how can we do that this is only variable this is also only variable so this is only variable this is also only variable so we bring them together so it's going to become q square p equal to now you open this bracket you open this bracket you have a p squared minus a b squared now if you look at this this is what only variable the two of them are variables right variable times variable is still variable so we have only variable this is what a constant and variable and this is what only constant because our variables are p and q so they are the ones that you are looking at so that means this is going to be q square p equal to but i'm still writing it again a p squared minus a b squared then you write your what y equals mx plus c so this will be y which is what only variable these two are also only variables equal to this is what variable and constant this is the variable this is the constant so you write it as what mx this is what only constant so you write it as plus c so what does this mean this means that we are going to plot graph of what y against x now what's standing in place of y that's q square p or standing in case of, in, in case of x that is p squared so you are plotting graph of q squared p against p squared against p squared and the coefficient of your x will be your um, slope so that means that your a is going to be the slope and what and your intercept is going to be what the remaining part so that's that means our intercept is going to be minus a b squared so you can't use logarithm for this if you use logarithm for it you are going to miss it although let's see if we try to use logarithm let's see if if there is another way we could have used logarithm writing q square p equal to a p squared minus b squared there is no way we can do it there's no way we can do this and use logarithm there's no way we can do it so uh, this is going to be the final answer